This is why I won't be uploading any more videos to YouTube. So you're either going to be really happy about this or not so much. Hey, sometimes you go for it and it goes in. Damn it. And sometimes it doesn't. So obviously you read the title before clicking on this video. This is going to sound like I'm complaining, but I promise you I'm not. So if you'll just hear me out, let me tell you why. And there are two parts to this. First, time. I'm fast approaching what is likely to be the busiest time of my entire life. I've got a five-year-old, a two-year-old, and a two-and-a-half-month-old. The five-year-old just finished preschool and will now be home for the summer. My wife Hillary is about to go back to work, which means the kids will need 100% of my time on those days. Don't even think for a second that I'm complaining about that because I'm not. This is my first free moment of the day to relax and shoot some pool with my cousin, and I'm using it to shoot a video. Second, quality. I've been putting up six videos a week. Two on Mondays, one here on the vlog channel, one on Triple B TV, the live stream, one on Wednesday, Freedom Breeder channel on Thursday, I've got another finger over there somewhere. Number six, a video here on Friday. So with the exception of the live stream, that means that I'm shooting and recording virtually every single day. Combine that with making time for the family, all the traveling, cleaning and feeding the snakes, working at Freedom Breeder, I barely have time to sleep. I've been stretched too thin. Now, what does that have to do with quality? Everything. In order to film and edit a quality video that tells a story, you need to focus on it. I'm gonna go for the 10 corner. You need to plan it. Lately, I've just been grabbing the camera and shooting whatever, whenever, however, and then slapping it together, hoping to tell a good story. Quite frankly, I really haven't been happy with a lot of the content I've been putting out because it hasn't really been telling the story that I really want to tell. Now you might be thinking right now, what the hell dude, I love all the content you put out. It's great. Well that might be true, if I'm not happy with the content I'm creating, well, I'm cheating myself and in the long run, cheating you too. And this is why I won't be uploading any more videos to YouTube on Wednesdays. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> Every time, I told them it's not April. First words out of my mouth. Oh, uh, I know, you guys, you guys think I'm full of it now. But honestly, like the, the content I think is gonna be getting so much better because of this. I, I have time to focus and really get some quality stuff and I, I maybe won't last, who knows? Maybe, maybe next week I'll be uploading on Wednesdays again. I don't know. But I really would like to take some serious time and really focus on like, getting the quality good and it's just that one extra day to have to focus on building a story around the videos I'm making I think it'll be better and then plus since we got my cousin right here he's been <laughs> okay 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 wait a minute I have something that I want to say about this so you guys don't see you know all the behind the scenes that I see um, but I had actually kind of suggested something like this to Brian, putting it out there that, you know, if he was able to maybe do one less video a week to allow him more time for putting in the, the effort and the, the filming and, and not feeling so stressed that he just has to slap something together to get it out there because consistency is super, super important to him. So I was like pleasantly surprised when I heard that he was gonna try this out. And um, you know, I just kind of wanted to give you guys my perspective 
because I see how freaking busy this guy is. Of course, taking care of the animals, cleaning and, and feeding, and then, you know, all the YouTube filming and editing. That stuff takes a long time and it takes a lot of thought and energy. And like I even told him we got to go get him some glasses because he's on the screen so much editing that we got to protect his eyes and working with Freedom Breeder is amazing and we're so grateful for that that job that he's got with them um, but you know he's he's driving three hours away every other week and then doing the editing for them gosh he's like the vice president of the local turtle club here and then you know admins on Facebook pages and mediating and then he's got people calling him for advice all the time, which is so cool. I think that just this week he had like two people he didn't even know call him, you know, looking to set up a snake room or, you know, whatever they needed advice on with breeding. And, and he gives people their time. And, and then, I mean, family life, taking care of stuff around the house, fixing our broken fridge, you know, it's, um, it's a lot. And so I just kind of wanted to give my, uh, my perspective because I see how much time he puts into all this. And I know that it's really important to him to have quality content. And so, um, you know, it's not like he just is, wants to just have time, free time. It, it's definitely not that because, you know, when you work for yourself, I understand that you have to really bust ass for a while to create a successful business. And, um, but it's also really hard to allocate your time and to not just be constantly working. And so that's something that we've kind of been discussing. And I think you agree. Yeah, I think you agree. I know it's hot out here. We could just film you all day. I'm sure everyone would be okay with that. <laughs> hope it works for everybody. I hope you guys are okay with it and, and find a, a, you know, increase in the quality of the content. And um, yeah, cool. See you guys soon. Aloha. Ah! Time to go. Plus, since we got my cousin right here, he's been waiting for me to actually address that I'm in the same room with him. Uh, <laughs> He can tell you what he thinks about it. I think it's a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> no, tell me what you really think, man. <laughs> it's your guys' show, not mine. Oh, this, come on, this is our second installment of what it's like to be at Cusco. Well, I don't know, I haven't had time to process all of it. Have you guys? I mean, quality does suffer when you're, when you're not taking the time to focus on your craft. <sighs> And when your arm, this is what he's doing. He hands me this freaking huge camera. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this thing, this is freaking big. I'm playing pool and he hands that to me to carry around to weaken my arm out so he can win. He's cheating himself and me by weakening the competition. That's what's going on. That's what I think about this. So let me know down in the comments, guys. Let me know what, what you think about that. Or if you think it's a good idea, if you think it's a bad idea, if you think I should be uploading every day. I already know there's a couple out there going to be like, you should be uploading every single day, Brian. But I could. I really could. I could upload every single day. I could upload twice a day. But would I be happy with the content? Hell no. It'd be, it'd be like half-assed and not so good. And I don't want that. I want it to be the best stuff that I can possibly put out within reason. I realize I'm not like... I don't have a million and a half dollar budget nine months to shoot some epic Marvel Adventures movie. But I want good quality. I want stuff that leaves you guys feeling like you really enjoyed watching. It just touches you and helps you feel or helps you in some way, you know, offers like value, lots of value, not just some cheap entertainment, but something of true value that you can, you can take with you throughout your day and that you don't just watch it and forget about it, that it actually has some deep meaning, some value that sticks with you throughout the day, throughout your life. That's what we're going for. It's my turn to shoot, so I'm gonna let Michael, uh, yeah. Do whatever I do or don't do. Is it open? It is. <laughs> it's ball in hand. Oh, sweet. Yes. So realistically and logistically, how much time does this open up for you? Um, well, it opens up a day of shooting. Okay. And it opens up a day of editing, too. Which so is... one, one, skipping one day's video opens up two days of your life? Mm, more or less. More, more or less. More or less. Maybe I'd say a full day because, you know, it's like half a day of shooting and half a day of editing. Okay. So a full day. Right. To where I can and have that time to set up, you know, because I've got a deadline in my mind, 
And instead of having that deadline where I'm thinking, you know, I've got that deadline like every day almost, I'll at least have a little moment where I don't have that deadline. Right. To where I can... Like a day off? It's not that I'm looking for a day off because I enjoy what I'm doing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really grateful to be doing what I'm doing. I'm very thankful to be doing this. It's not about trying to take time off. It's about... Well, you suffer fatigue. Well, yeah, fatigue. Sure, and then yeah. that's not doing your best. No, it's not doing. I, mean, I yeah. want to be. The, the point is to do my yeah, to do my best, and that gives me a little extra time to focus and plan, like what we're doing right now. You know, I didn't just pick up the camera. I thought about what we're shooting here today, put right. some serious thought into it, and was able to come up with something that, hopefully, is better than if I hadn't done that. You know. Well, I don't know that today's video is going to be better than if you hadn't, but into the future. Yeah, yeah. Now hurry up and shoot. I'm tired of this <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> shit. Am I allowed to say shit on YouTube? Every time you cuss, that I. It's, it does this little like, <laughs> like so it just goes right over that so you can say mother <laughs> balls and I can still put it up there and just be like Woo! Back at the pad, Mr. Noah Sage wants to feed some snakes some rats. <laughs> Which one do you want to feed? Uh, Look at they're going they're going wild over there. I'm gonna feed that one. I'm holding them nice and tight. You're gonna need to get up on the uh, stool there, I think. Okay. Want to feed another one? Yeah, I'm gonna feed that one. Junior is the black one. Is Junior a nice snake? No, yeah. oh, that's very hard. Uh, oops. He kind of a. Uh... Pull it back, pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> he almost. Pull, pull it back. Got ya. Yeah. What do you know? I know. Snake feeders. <laughs> what about snake feeders? That they're kind of like wrappers and they close a special lock like this. And that's all I know. Oh, and they have, on this part, they have stuff that kind of looks like sharp, sharp teeth. And that's all I know. You're going to have to wash your hands now. <laughs> yeah, let's do that when I'm done feeding snakes. Good. She might not want to eat though because she's in shed and she's pregnant. Yeah, she's not gonna eat. There she is guys. Beautiful mama going into pre-lay shed. Woohoo! <laughs> Dang! He's dead to get you. Who's going to eat this one? Okay. Oh, that's a nice cat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm squeezing it so hard. 
Uh, it's so heavy, the one up there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just to touch back on what we've been talking about today, I always want to make sure I'm making the right choice for myself, for my family, for you guys and my audience. Is this the exact right way to go about things? I don't know. But the only way to really know is if you try it and find out, right? So the goal here is, of course, to always do the best I can at everything I do. And we'll see if this works out. If it doesn't, I mean, you know, maybe we'll go back to doing every day just random stuff you know there's only one leave leave a comment down below and as we're going forward these next few coming videos that are going to be coming out let me know if you notice a difference if you find more value in these videos going forward that i get to put more time into and focus more energy into singular videos versus you know spreading my energy across multiple videos just curious we'll see what we'll see what happens i know change can be scary for some people but i think we're gonna be okay and i think uh I think it should be a good thing, so I'm excited about it. I'm going to keep things fresh, keep things interesting, and and not just for myself, but for you guys too, and, and everybody involved, you know, so whatever you're doing today, I hope you're doing it with somebody you love. I hope you're enjoying what you're doing, and we'll see you on Friday. Y'all take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Now, what does that have to do with quality? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's suffering.